Welcome to the Science Asylum. I am Nick Lucid. Over on my energy video, Freeloaders Full asked, What the? Why did you not at least explain E equals MC squared? Because it's too important to be just a side note. It deserves its own video. Nay, it demands it. Okay, how should we start this? Oh, I know, we can look at it piece by piece. E equals MC squared. That's energy equals mass times the speed of light twice. Let's start with the easy part, the speed of light. Well, it's, 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 it's the speed of light. It's a number and it's always the same no matter what. So you just look it up or you use it so much you have it memorized. <sighs> it's 299-792458 meters per second or a little over 186,000 miles per second. Yeah, I said per second. Why is that in there? Dude, it's just a number. The word light is irrelevant. That number shows up a lot of places that have nothing to do with light. And it's huge. And there are two of them in there. That means this E over here is a really, really, really big number. So much bigger than any other energy we deal with. Millions of millions of times bigger. The energy in me is a little over eight, followed by 18 zeros. Okay, so what about mass, smarty pants? Ugh. Mass is a little weird, and it probably doesn't mean what you think it means. It has multiple definitions, all of which are completely independent and slightly wrong. You get inertial mass from Newton's second law of motion. It says F equals MA, or more mass means more inertia, which means less acceleration. You also get gravitational mass from weight. The G can be thought of in two ways, the acceleration due to gravity or the gravitational field strength. But either way, more mass means more weight. For hundreds of years, it perplexed physicists. How come these two types of mass always had the same value, but didn't seem to have any connection with each other? Then Einstein came along. Through thought experiments, or Gedanken for such, Einstein discovered many things. One was that you can't tell the difference between acceleration and gravity fields. So technically, the only difference between inertial mass and gravitational mass is who's looking. Ugh. Physics is weird. You're weird. You think that's weird? Einstein didn't stop there. He came up with E equals MC squared, but that's not the whole story. Technically, how big this number is depends on who's looking. So we throw another factor in there to take care of that. The faster you see the thing moving, the bigger that factor is. Only when it isn't moving can you say E equals MC squared. So we often call this rest energy. And we call this total energy. Wait, total energy? Yep, total, as in all of it. Whether it's thermal, chemical, or nuclear, all of the energy inside this skin suit is part of what I call my mass. It all gives me inertia, and it all helps gravity work on me. There is no difference between mass and energy, and everything tangible, everything we are capable of touching, has mass. So what's the weirdest science fact you've ever heard? Please share in the comments. And until next time, remember, it's okay to be a little crazy.